Hey guys, um, so I literally just woke up. It's um, currently 9 o'clock or 9.01 a.m. to be exact, um, which explains the cow like I have in the back, but I don't really, um, I don't really care. Um, but this is going to be something new that I've, um, that I thought of doing, because um, something's going to happen in a few more months. So I just figured I would um, do some vlog or video log, as you guys might know it. Um, but yeah, I'll basically be um, capturing video basically throughout the day, um, every day, if not, you know, most of the days of the week. But yeah, it'll be mostly consisting of either um, uh, commentary with driving videos or just um, watching me like cruise around, meeting up with friends and stuff. So um, yeah, uh, what I have planned today is basically um, I'm going to meet up with some friends later, uh, hopefully shoot some photography, but who knows, anything could happen. Um, but yeah. I'm actually going to go return the Note 4 that I borrowed from Samsung for their 21-day uh, trial program. Um, Samsung had their, had five locations actually across the U.S. and um, Valley Fair actually happened to be one of them. So here I have the Note 4 and then in this bag I have the, the box, the, the charger and um, that's pretty much all I took out and that came with the phone. So that being said, um, I know most of you have not heard my exhaust yet, so um, yeah, hang on a second. In the uh, area that I live in, Saratoga is known to be, um, or Saratoga is known to have very quiet neighborhoods, and this is basically why my neighbors probably hate me so much. This is about 10 feet from the garage, and normally when the car starts up outside the garage, it's slightly quieter than when it's in the garage. So I'm actually hoping that this camera angle works, um, if not I'll just give another angle another shot. But uh, yeah, right now I'm heading to Valley Fair, um, I'm gonna return the Note 4, like I just said. I actually did do some research on YouTube and um, Google, and I do have another arm extension from um, don't really know how to say their company name, but it's um, S M A T R E E, so I'm guessing Smatchery or something. But I'm gonna give that angle, or I'm gonna give that mount a shot. Um, the primary reason why I got that mount or the extension arm from that company is because then I can hang it off of the uh, the moonroof slash sunroof, um, whatever you call it, and. That way, I can get, you know, a camera angle of the uh, of both the drivers and the passenger side, and as well as the road ahead of me. Instead of having the uh, camera be blocked by the rearview mirror. And I was planning on going to get a bagel because I was hungry this morning. I actually woke up at a very early time but was too tired to actually go out and get something to eat, but um, I'm not feeling as hungry now, I don't know why. <laughs> and just in case there's any Sharks fans out there that watch this video, um, you may have seen my sweatshirt says Toronto Maple Leaves. Um, I've had to say it once in high school, and I'll say it again right now that I do not watch ice hockey and I don't know anything about ice hockey. So, no, I'm not a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, I just got the sweatshirt because I was in Taiwan one year and they were um, 
we go to this one shop called Roots Canada every time we visit Taiwan, and they for some reason always have clothing that's labeled like you know Roots Canada, of course, but or have like one or two pieces of clothing that have the ice hockey team on it. So that's pretty much why um, it says Toronto Maple Leafs, and I got the sweatshirt mostly because that it's you know it's really comfy. And I'm hoping that the audio also works because I'm actually using the the GoPro uh, skeleton case, um, but because of the drone in my car, I'm hoping that there's no like there's not much static noise in the audio itself because I've done a few tests in the past, and what ended up happening was you can hear my voice pretty well. But there was just a lot of static noise because of the um, because of the peak and the built-in microphone. Oh, and if you guys have any um, if you guys have any tips on camera mounting, not including the uh, 3M tape mounts that came with the camera itself or bought separately, let me know because I'm honestly I'm still trying to figure out interesting and uh, good camera angles to play with so it's gonna it's gonna take the next few days because I don't I honestly other than class I don't go out to drive much because um, I mostly save up the gasoline that I have um, that I fill up with to uh, my drive to and from Santa Cruz every weekend. I do sound random because, like I said before, if any of you guys actually watch my videos, um, I basically talk about that deep thing that pops in my mind, and I could be like, you know, one second and then after the next. Um, my how my thought process usually works is I can jump from point A to point B and come back to point A and then go back to um, talk about point B. But um, what I wanted to say was, my exhaust normally warms up after, I'd say like 15 to 20 minutes of, um, of I guess, street driving or, or like local driving, but a little bit shorter time if I'm driving on the highway, because obviously I'm going at a, you know, a quicker speed on the highway than I would be normally on, you know, public road. And I guess this is also a uh, a test to see how much video I can take in one day because right now I have four devices uh, to my availability. I have my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I have my um, Sony Action Cam. I believe it's AS100V, the one that I can capture or the one that I can basically um, actually the one that comes with that I should put it uh, GPS and um, the speedometer and I also have my um, Sony Hana cam I believe it's HDR 260V so that's the camcorder which I was using earlier this morning in my house and for my exhaust um, I used my Canon uh, T3i with a uh, road video mic so that's the four or five pieces of equipment if you guys want to include the microphone that I'm using to film as well as all the memory cards so I guess what I meant was like you know gonna try to see how many minutes or hours I can squeeze out of um, the memory cards or um, how long the each of the battery holds. <laughs> oh, and actually, um, I'm driving past Westgate Shopping Center right now. I believe someone posted in our group that there was a uh, toy drive for, um, I think for some kind of children group. Um, my apologies for not, you know, knowing the information, um, exact information, but um, I believe it's happening on December 5th, if I remember correctly, somewhere around there. So. If you guys, you know, have any toys for donation or anything, um, you know, check the event page. Uh, the guy did post, he asked me if he was able to, you know, post on our group page, and I figured, you know, why not. So, if you guys are interested, 
um, scroll back through the history on BAC, and uh, he is planning on hosting it here at Westgate. If I remember correctly, it should be the so shopping center, but if not, it's somewhere in this area. I was actually gonna change lanes because this truck is coming up on me. He just changed to the right lane, but the truck should not be going that quickly. I've had a few of those instances, and actually there's one time where, um, for those of you guys who are from Saratoga, I was driving out Saratoga Sunnyvale with my mom actually in the front, in front of me. And this truck, um, I think it was empty, but like, I don't know if it's just me personally, or you know, if, um, or if you guys and gals think the same thing, but even if a truck is empty, I don't think they should be going, you know, five or ten over the speed limit because of, you know, the mass of their truck. So, this guy was just, you know, changing lanes left and right, at least he was using signals, but with the amount of weight that he's carrying, he was, yeah, no kid, so he just almost cut, cuts me off, but he did use signals again. Um, I don't know, I just think that that's really dangerous, in my opinion. Um, I did do something really stupid. I actually did pass him, and I was coming up on a red light, and I sort of, like, I changed lanes to be in front of him, and that sort of subtracted the stopping distance that he had, which sort of scared me a little bit, but um, I guess I had a pretty dumb way of doing it, but I was just tell, trying to tell the truck driver to slow the hell down, because he was honestly going way too fast for the kind of vehicle that he was driving. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think of that. Um, like I said, it might just be me, um, you know, but, you know, am I, you guys might think of the same. So, uh, yeah, just let me know or something. And I'm going to take local because I don't really like taking highway, especially for the part where you have to, um, exit onto Winchester Boulevard. There's two traffic lights there. After you get off, or after you get onto the off ramp from the highway, there's a slight right curve and then traffic light. And then immediately after you make the left from the traffic light, there's another traffic light there. And normally there, there's a lot of um, traffic congestion. So I don't really like getting stuck in the middle of the road as some people might think differently but I like to be safe and not cause any problems by getting stuck in the middle of the intersection and I gotta say that um, of all the cities that I've been to San Jose is probably one of the cities that has the most potholes because I'm driving on I believe it's um, William Street um, but in the left lane, there's potholes and cracks in the road every few feet. And that, I already know, is a red flag for slam cars because, um, when slam cars go over potholes, one, it feels very uncomfortable, and two, you know, the owners are afraid of scraping. Unless if you want to buy, like, you know, a new bumper, a new lip every so often. But, I mean, my car isn't slammed or, or stanced. It's just been lowered by a tiny bit. And even then, when I go over bottles, it feels very uncomfortable. And that's sort of why I hate bottles a lot. But if I were to take my mom's SUV out, that's a different story. Actually, if you guys want, I can do a pull right here. Because I'm about to go under a tunnel. Yeah, you guys can see it, but yeah, I guess I'll do a pull with the windows down. So, based on that, my exhaust isn't quite hot yet because normally it would be a lot louder than that. But, um,. You guys will definitely be able to hear it when I enter the parking garage at Valley Fair because that was only a small tunnel, whereas in the parking garage, you know, I'm in an enclosed area so you can hear a lot better. 
That is a really nice Evo. But he's on the phone. Nice to see you. Steve Street is really packed for right now, actually. It's 10. It's pretty much 10.30, but I've never seen Stevens Creek so packed like this at this time. That's a very nice Mustang. Grab her blue. For those of you who don't know me, my hands get really cold for some reason. And it doesn't matter if, you know, if the heaters turn on or anything, if I feel cold internally, then my hands get incredibly cold, even if I'm wearing gloves. I mean, gloves do, do help a little bit, but in the end, when I take them off, like, maybe five minutes afterwards, they turn into ice. Actually, just thought something, if the audio in the, if the audio doesn't sound really good, I actually do have a, uh, I do have a lavalier microphone, but the problem is, I lost the uh, windscreen for it. Oh, that's a really nice TV. blah by at like 10 30 if you're if you're in bac then this is me saying hi to you all right so about to enter the parking garage yeah the exhaust isn't quite warm yet when the exhaust is cold, it has sort of a low or high pitch, but when it when it warms up, it's the um, the tone actually becomes lower. So I'll do another pull later. That's a very nice A7. up because it makes it easier for me to boost up line there we go. should be good enough. okay so yeah I am um, hopefully you guys can see me still due to the uh, very dimly lit lights in this parking garage but um yeah time to go to Valley Fair and return the uh, note 4 so I'm walking in the parking garage right now. Um, people will think that I'm a weirdo talking to myself on a camera, but um, I'm just talking to you guys. And uh, yeah, got the Note 4 in the bag right here. And um, yeah, oh, and it's super cold. Um, not wearing any gloves, but even if that was the case, it's still super cold. And uh, yeah. Actually, the one thing I like about coming to the mall early morning is that there's no one here. But in two hours at like 12, yeah, the parking lot is packed. Parking is very hard to find, and you have to dodge people left and right. Right now, I'm at the uh, the Samsung um, kiosk, and I'm waiting for the manager to come back. Uh, they told me 15 minutes, so here I'm just waiting. Um, but. Yeah, here's the kiosk. There's all the uh, products, the tab, uh, note. And um, yeah, I just saw the mall's completely pretty much empty. Swirsky, the guy was up top. For those of you who've never been a guy here before. And uh, Apple Store is actually down there. I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, there it is. So Apple Store is right there, and then Windows is just right across from it. I was originally going to do a speed test between the Note 4 and the iPhone 5, but then I remembered that they made the Note 4 to compete with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus, so that itself wouldn't be a fair competition. Um, 
Otherwise, I would have honestly done a test between the iPhone 5 and the Note 4 right when I got the device. I uh, just gave back the Note 4, and for those of you guys who are still interested, um, they're actually here until December 31st, and they're going to be out by January 1st. Um, so I may or may not come back and um, try out the, I believe it's the S5, but um, if I do consider on getting the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, then to me, like, personally, I don't really think that there's any point in trying out the S5 because, um, like I said, you know, just a few minutes ago, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus was designed to compete with the Note 4, which I literally just returned. So that being said, um, yeah, I'm heading back to my car now, and um, yeah, I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do for the next, I guess, four or five hours. I literally just walked out of the mall, and this is what I find. Not quite sure how they managed to do that. Um, I've only seen it happen once in my life. Um, but, yeah, hopefully they get that fixed, because that actually looks pretty funny. But I still don't really know how they managed to... Um, to hit the door so hard that it fell off its track. Um, yeah, the parking garage is now pretty much way more full than when I first got here. Except the back wall isn't completely occupied yet, but this, oh, that's a really nice Camaro. Very nice. But, um, yeah, the back wall's not filled yet. But it be... It's pretty cool. And I don't know why this Integra behind me is following me, but... That was the Integra that was following me. But, um, yeah, now I'm back in my car. I'm actually gonna go get myself a bagel back at Saratoga Bagels. So, uh, yeah, let's go. I want to first say that I'm actually using the Smash Remount right now, and um, based on the material that it was made out of, it's very, I guess I can say it's a little weak, and I actually did like an experiment um, last week, and the video was very, um, it's very shaky, so now that I'm trying with, actually I can already see it shaking right now, um, it's like bouncing up and down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to find a way of how to stabilize that, but um, just for the meantime, please bear with me. Um, for those of you who watch and get motion sickness, uh, I'd rather you guys skip this part because it's probably not gonna get any better um, with me using this mount, at least. But um, yeah, I'll switch back to the uh, GoPro mount, actually. That's sort of why I asked those of you who um, know the uh, GoPro uh, tips and tricks. Because um, it, it basically applies to the Sony Action Cam. What I'm using right now is actually a mount for the GoPro, but because of the Smatchery and um, I believe Amazon sells an adapter that you can use for using a GoPro mount and filming with the Sony action cam but um if you guys have any tips on mounting it to the moonroof and having it low enough that you can see me driving as long and with like you know out of the front windshield uh, this is pretty much what I want to get at, in terms of view but like you guys can see the video footage is very shaky did not expect that from Chevy. Or at least, um, from that car. Did not expect an exhaust. But, um, yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't expect it to shake that much. And they had actually, uh, two different sedans in the, uh, Stevens Creek Subaru. 
But, um... Yeah, I will definitely be searching back to the GoPro mode when I get home after this. But for those of you who don't know, um, I didn't release my my Club Lexus RCF unveiling video yet, which I know has been basically two weeks already, but... Uh, the, you know, the engine is amazing, the ride is also amazing, it has so much torque that when I was filming, when GM Jared Miller basically mashed on the gas pedal, I, I couldn't stay, you know, sitting up, I was pushed back into my seat, and I was sitting in the back too, um, but yeah, that car is amazing. I believe you said that that car, that model was fully loaded, so if you said it was about $74,000, whereas base would be around like, I'd say 65, but with tax maybe close to 70. But yeah, the RCF is an amazing car. Even though I get told both that IS had a nice exhaust, but um, yeah, like I told a few people, the RCF honestly, it looks like a huge whale. That was my very first impression of the RCF, and I know that's funny, but that, it honestly reminded me of a whale. Turning onto the uh, road to get to the bagel shop right now. But um, yeah, I think it's time to uh, get some bagels. Saratego bagels to my left right now, and just saw a cop right by on his motorcycle. Lower car problem is entering sideways. There's one bad thing about having a plaza that's this small and that's people backing up while trying to get into a parking space at the same time. Such as this Honda Fit trying to get out of a parking spot and I was coming in. But um... Alright, let's go get ourselves a bagel. I, uh, just got my bagel and now I'm heading home. Plan is, I am going to go meet up with a friend later after he gets out of class at De Anza. And, um, yeah, and then we'll see what we're gonna do afterwards. Completely forgot to turn on my audio before that, and I had already plugged in the auxiliary cable, so I was wondering why there wasn't any sound, and I was smart enough to, you know, not turn on the audio. I actually readjusted the, the smash extension arm, so hopefully it'll be more stable, but if not, I'll switch back to the GoPro mount, like I said. That red Coca-Cola truck almost ran me um, off the road yesterday. We were, from where I am right now, this traffic light, two traffic lights back, he was actually in the left turn lane. And he already signaled, but he should have waited for me to pass. Instead of what he did was he forced his way in. And I had to slam on my brakes to let him in. And I really wanted to go and give him a talk, but I had my uh, girlfriend with me at the time, so I didn't really want to do that. I figured it would have been a waste of time, like, in the end, so I didn't really, you know, go down with it. And from the looks of it right now, it is a little bit better. Um, actually, I'll just show you guys later how I used to mount it. It was probably because this road is just so smooth that, the, you know, the camera's not shaking as much, but when I was driving back from Valley Fair, holy shit, the mount was really unstable. But, um, yeah, I'm almost home now, so I'm gonna, uh, show you guys how my mount was, um, when I get home. I'm back home now. And um, now I'm going to show you guys how I mounted my Sony Action Cam with the Smash Tree extension arm from my moonroof. Um, my battery's about to die, but I'm going to see how much I can film. 
So, uh, the previous drive back from the um, from the bagel shop, I had it so that way the arm was um, was I guess re- quote unquote reinforced by um, by doing this. You can see that it's connected from here, and then these two, uh, I guess I'll just call them sticks. These two sticks with, um, down here, these three, and then they overlap each other, uh, to, you know, make it more stable. Um, so that's why it wasn't shaking as much, but, um, before this, um, I had it, uh, set up like this. Hang on a second. So I had it basically mounted like this. Um, you guys can see how obvious it is that this is much less stable <coughs> than how I mounted it um, just before. These two sticks with these three, and they only overlapped here at this point. So um, I'm going to look over the footage to see what I got, and if the other way, the more reinforced way works better, and... You know, it looks okay, it won't make you motion, or it won't make you, you know, get motion sickness, then I'll stick with that. But if that, if even that doesn't work, then you know, I'll, I'll go back to, um, to filming with the, uh, the GoPro mount and just slap this guy on there, the, um, the Sony Action Cam adapter, and, uh, yeah, just go from there. I came back home to, uh, transfer the, all the video files that I took of this morning onto my laptop, and so I'm heading out again. Um, meeting up with a friend at Big Basin Cafe, and then later on meeting up with someone else, uh, somewhere. Not sure yet, but yeah, both are my, uh, close friends. Um, one I met at, uh, when BAC first launched, and the other guy, um, I've known him since high school. I looked at the video footage of both the Sony action cam and the GoPro and I realized that for now I should probably um, when I'm driving by myself um, I should probably use this angle for now because this angle is a lot more stable and um, basically a lot better than the the uh, the action cam so yeah, I think I'll stick with this angle for now since you guys can see both the road where I'm going and me. But um, yeah, so I'm heading to Saratoga downtown and for those who've never been to Saratoga before, which I'm hoping is not a lot of you, because I know a lot of you guys, you know, like to go driving up nine and then, you know, hit up skid pad or highway 35 at the Vista point. But, um, for those of you who've never been to Saratoga downtown before, our downtown is possibly the smallest downtown you'll ever be in. Um, our neighbor actually, Las Gatas downtown there, it's huge. Um, it's an entire street, but, uh, no, not more than, uh, an entire street actually. There's a main street, but then there's also a few side streets. Um. Ours is just a single street, but it's not even, it's honestly not that big. And um, when I drive by it, or when I like, you know, drive through it somewhat, you'll understand. Um, I'm actually gonna be stopping like right in the middle because that's where I'm meeting my friend at actually. We're actually just driving by Saratoga High School, the high school that I graduated from. And, um, Actually, well, not gonna really explain what happened during the four years, but I have to be honest, and I have no doubt that there's gonna be people from my grade who's who may end up watching this, um, just for the hell of it. Or I don't, I don't even know, but I gotta say that ever since I graduated during these two or almost even three years. I definitely am having like a better life now in a way, um, in comparison to the four years that I went through in high school. Um, I, you know, I met a lot of, I met a lot more amazing people. You know, I had a few friends from 
high school who, you know, wasn't completely bad. Like, I, I had a couple friends from high school who were, who were complete, they were amazing, um, who I still talk to today. So, um, like I said, it wasn't all that bad, but I, I, like, overall, it's just my life right now from since I graduated high school is much better than my four years of high school life. And it's not really something that I want to get into, especially since that this video is going to be online. It's, it's a little, I guess, personal. Well, I mean, it is personal, but I mean, you guys know what I mean. There was two cops, actually. One guy on a motorcycle and one guy in a uh, cop car. We all love cops, don't we? Yep. And this guy's parked on the crosswalk. Good job to him. And this FedEx truck's parked in the middle of the road. Okay, I'm gonna park right. The one thing I like about downtown, like the only thing I like about downtown when coming here during the daytime is that the parking lot is not as packed. Whereas if you come here like when it's dinner time, oh my God, it is, it is basically like a pool of fish trying to, you know, find a parking spot. Okay, that should be good enough. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with my friend and uh, hopefully I can get him on video actually. But uh, yeah. So I will see you guys later. I just got back with hanging with my uh, with my friend at um, Apparently it wasn't Big Basin Cafe, it was, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it, it was not Blue Rock Shoot, it was Big Basin Cafe. So, now where I'm going is I'm going back to Westgate Shopping Center actually, because I want to, uh, I want to get some pictures of my car. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing around my, with my uh, camera some more. And, uh, yeah, it's, I think I'm pretty much close to ending my, my, uh, my video log for the day. So here we are at the, uh, AMC Plaza, where I'm going to be taking pictures at. And that is a nice 458. But, um, yeah, I will, like I said again, I will show you guys the, um, the, some pictures if they end up being really good but for right now I think I might have to count on some pretty lucky chances because the parking lot is pretty full actually surprisingly but um yeah I will uh, try to yeah, I'm gonna try to get some pictures here I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my first ever video log. Um, I was going to finish early, earlier today, but my GoPro actually um, ran out of battery, surprisingly, because I, I did charge it last night. But um, yeah, I know I have a lot to improve on, so um, feel free to you know give me any tips, hints, um, and whatnot. Like I said, I'll be doing this for a few months, so um, yeah. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw, and um, yeah, another one should be up either tomorrow or um, Thursday. Yep, so uh, yeah, take it easy and have a nice night.